Oh, there we go. Shut up. Oh, fuck. Let's see if I can get this to work this time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did a, um, a thing before a while back. And like I had a, I can't remember which, what, what, what was it for? Like a Hogan fight, a Hogan bond. I don't remember. Either way, I started out uh, doing a, a, a thing, unboxing. Yeah, I think that's what you call it. Unboxing, taking things out of a box. Uh, uh, for a tech pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, what, what was I saying? Yeah, slow start, slow start. Get it together. All right, here we go. <laughs> so Tag Pack, yeah, it's a monthly subscription box. And I had talked about it before in that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one, one time I recorded it, but the audio was all fucked up. I didn't have it hooked up right. So <clears throat> it's a good thing about monthly subscription boxes. You know, you get a, a new one every month. So um, try this one more again. <laughs> uh, I got a little different setup here. So I'll do a little experiment. We'll see how it works. How it uh how it comes out. Um, so yeah, so I can't remember how I came across Tag Pack. I mean, I've had uh, <sighs> subscription boxes before. Um, fuck, what was a fishing one? I need to get back on that. It's in summer, it's summer again. Um, <laughs> oh, shout out to Broken Jarhead. I think we're trying to come up with a a summer hashtag. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil them. Um, but one actually no, I'm gonna throw one out there because I because we we're trying to think. I forgot we saw um, fuck, ah uh, damn, I forgot w which page it was on. I want to give him credit. Um, uh, maybe if I find it, I'll cut it in here after. Um, but anyway, so it's like a a a, a graphic or a sticker, and it's um, fuck. Now I can't even remember. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck. I mean, this is what I get for winging it. But uh, let's see here. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... What am I going to do? Uh, let me see if I can... Finds it. Because it should be... All right. Um. But anyways, we, we're trying to find... Let's see if I can talk and do this at the same time. We were trying to find a... Um, yeah, yeah, summer hashtag because we came across this one. Uh, fuck, I'm failing miserably. Miserably. Uh, la, la, la. Oh, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is from <laughs> this account called Breach Breach or Bypass. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll put up a thing. Uh, in after so you should be able to see in front of my face right now the it looks like a sticker but it's like a graphic or something but anyways it's uh once my meat goes in your mouth you're gonna want to swallow <laughs> i was like fuck that's a good why didn't i think of that but anyway so i saw that sent it over to broken jar head shout out to shane uh go to his website use promo code hook and bogo uh, to get buy one, buy one get one sticker, like right. Oh shit! Yeah, now I have this thing, like right here. Let me, can I switch? Can I switch? Uh, let's see. Yeah. So you got like this right here. Uh, and then oh fuck, I gave away. Shit, I gave away most of my stickers. Oh, yeah. One last. Time. I had a bunch. Of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one my favorite right now. I think. Damn, it's kind of bent. Here we go. Can you see it? Ooh, there we go. Holograms. It's drop, drop bodies, not packets. So he came up with this one because I was talking to him. I was like, "Hey, you should make some for the, for the Intel pogs. It's Intel nerds. Oh, I do got more in here. All right. And you got these. So you got this new packaging. Uh. So that's whenever you order stuff, it comes in these fucking custom little pouches pretty fucking sweet he's doing a lot of stuff over there that chain that fucking chain um um, 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 um but yeah yeah and then patch patches too here's a patch like fuck oh shit it's kind of washed out can you even read it in the camera what the fuck why 
Why, why is it? Oh, there we go. Can you see? Can you, can, can you see that? I guess if you're listening, you can't see. It's just a patch. It's just, <laughs> it's just certified killers. First Pogue Battalion. Kill, kill, kill. Tip of the spear. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, yeah. Just in case anyone was unsure of my Marine Corps background, I'm a Pogue. So... And if you're a civilian, it doesn't mean anything, but it's like one of the first Marines always like, well, what was your MOS? What was your, it's like, what was your MOS to figure out if who you are and then uh, what unit were you with or what, what units and what fucking deployments? <laughs> uh, so anyways, it's just a dick mission contest that we do. Um, and but, so here, here's a good way for <laughs> civilians to think when you hear about pogues. Um, anyone call them pogues that pogue just just means that's what the grunts call us that aren't grunts uh, it basically means that because we're we, they consider us you know a little dick small baby dick bitches so <laughs> that's what a pogues are so yeah, yeah uh that's why that's funny and you, we all know it's things are funnier when you have to explain it to people but fucking hell but uh, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to give context to it, just in case there's anyone that's not a civ- or that is a civilian who's looking at that. But anyways, back to this uh, tech pack, the uh, monthly box. So yeah, yeah. So I think it's like fifty bucks, might be a little more. So it's within ten dollars, up or down, I guess, of uh, fifty bucks, and you get a bunch of shit in there every month. So let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah, actually, so this knife, this is a knife I carry all the time now, and this came in uh, the October box last year, I think. Oh, it's under this fuck, this whole uh, pad here. Like the, what do you call it? Weapons cleaning pad or whatever you call it. Um, oh, shit, I'm so stupid. <laughs> See, this is what I get for doing the one-man band thing. I put the knife in front of the camera, but I was not. Oh, yeah, I can also do this. Uh, oh, 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 my. And if you're just listening, then you're not getting any of this benefit, I guess. But anyway, so, yeah, here's this knife. Just showing off the knife and jerking myself off about um, doing the different uh, angles. Let's see, switch, 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 switch back, not there, no, no, I want to switch back to the, there we go, anyways, all right, so yeah, this knife, remember when cutting, to cut away from yourself, (laughs) I've cut myself before, as in Cub Scouts, I don't think I ever lost my totem chip, it's like a totem chip, so like a little um thing you do like a I can't remember you have to do like a weapon or not weapon safety course but like a knife safety course and then they there's like Cub Scouts I think you get in Boy Scouts too and so it's basically like you know set stuff like that always cut that knife away for cut cut with the blade you know f- going away from you and uh, don't don't oh, <laughs> don't hold the knife by the blade and you know stupid shit like that don't don't fucking stick it in your own ear. But, uh, so when you get in trouble, if they catch you, oh yeah, like don't whittle on live wood and things like that. So there's also like conservation, it's like safety and then environmental safety. Uh, but then they, um, uh, so if you get in trouble, like if they catch you carving your initials into, uh, into like, you know, benches and trees or other people, then they cut off a corner of your totem chip. And then once you got all four corners cut off, then, uh, I think you're like, they take it away. And so then you have to get a new one. So oh, it's basically yeah, it's like a um, a uh, weapon carrying. What are those called? Not a concealed sealed per- carry permit, but um, yeah, just a weapon carrying permit basically. So for like, I think it goes into Boy Scouts too, but it might only be for Cub Scouts. But anyways, it's so it's so like when you know you know you got a little Cub Scout running around, and if if they have a knife on them, you go, like, oh, where's your toting chip? Are you allowed to carry that? And if they don't have their toting chip. Then, uh, oh, toting, because to tote around, you carry it, and then chit, like a little, Marine Corps, we have chits, um, I guess, I think it just literally means a little piece of paper, so it's your, you're carrying around little paper, so it's your license to carry your fucking little, uh, 
Weeblow's knife. And, uh, yeah, long story short, if you get in trouble, like, you can lose it. And I don't think I ever had mine taken. Definitely, like, cut things I wasn't supposed to, but they didn't catch me, so, oh, well. <laughs> Good job, eight-year-old me. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. Let's see. What's in here? Oh, you go. Let me switch you. I don't know what the best way to do this is. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, all right, so. What do we got? We'll do. Shiza. Packing paper. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's like. Oh man, so this is this is I like these. This is exciting because it's like fucking Christmas every month. Uh, I lost my cursor. Where am I? Where am I? All right. Uh, so let's. I'll just go. Butch. And order what I pull out here. Oh, this is the other cool thing too. They put uh. So this is the space. It's just a sheet. It tells you everything that that came in it. I think it tells you what the. Sometimes it tells you the value. So like I said, it's like fifty bucks a month for the box, but you get more than fifty dollars worth of of gear in here. Um, I just read the top. Uh, alrighty. So this what month is it right now? January, March, April, May, 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 May. Yeah, it's May. Uh. Alrighty, this one has it all. Ugh, fuck, I can't read. Alrighty, this one has it all. It items you can take out of the box and apply to your kit and go bag right away. Lots of USA made gear as well. Enjoy. Alright, so let's see what 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 do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> just looking at, just enjoying it. So it is. All right, let me. I'll lay it right here. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh yeah. What am I thinking? I'm used to doing fucking podcasts and do uh, doing it so that I have the audio and the video. But I'm a fucking dummy. I'm, doing an unboxing why would i do a audio <laughs> version fucking dumb dumb all right here we go here we go uh so that looks like hex mag let's see what it says on here ba -da -ba -ba. hex mag ar-15 magazine this magazine features the century patent and toolless design for fast and easy floor plate removal allowing field cleaning and hex id color customization incorporates the introduction industry's most popular and functional accessories including hex mag grip tape and century hex id color ammunition identification system shish them additionally you can never have enough mags we really dig this dark fde color and run these usa made mags weekly here in the hq now if you can only find some rounds to fill it up with good luck that's good point good point um so yeah here we go let me try this um there we go close up for you hex mag there you go fuck and uh yeah yeah it's um what the fuck it looks huge but it's only 10 round mag really it must have like a block in there or something that's interesting. Does it stay on there? Some can, you can adjust it or whatever. But yeah. So in case anyone's worried, and yeah, it's only ten round uh, magazine. So I think like California. It looks fucking huge, but it's only ten rounds. It's not a thirty round mag. All right. So what's next? Let's see here. Let's see here. Grab 
What do we got? Rapid. Oh, rapid tourniquet. Some cl quick clot. No, it's not quick clot, but. Uh, rapid tourniquet. Simple light. Oh, let me th oh, leave it right. Chow. What's the best angle? Uh, okay, angle, I guess. Let me get that cross up. Boom, boom. Here's a bit of the back. Boom. See that back. All right. Um. Here we go. <sighs> Rats turning kit. Is that what this is? Yeah, it must be. It must be. Uh, rats turning kit. Uh, the best tourniquet is the one you carry, and this nice compact system is the best there is. The rapid application tourniquet system, RATS, R A T S, U.S. patent number, and this number, is the fastest tourniquet on the market and is used to stop massive hemorrhaging due to trauma. The rapid tourniquet uses a solid elastic core of proprietary, pro pro proprietary, wow, that's hard, proprietary material with a polyester sheath combined with a patented locking mechanism to make an incredibly fast tourniquet to apply to self or others. No other tourniquet compares to the rapid when being used under stress in terms of time or ease of use. Cool. Uh, I think, so I'm, <laughs> uh, uh, I've talked about it before. My dad was, he was 26 years in the Marine Corps, but I remember being a little kid and him telling uh, oh because he he also was um oops what am i doing cub scout leader and when we were learning about tourniquets you know when you learn to uh use your kerchief you can to make a sling or you can do tourniquets or, or use your belt or whatever they're teaching us that and he told us a joke he's like so uh if someone like if they're bleeding profusely from their hand, like where do you put the tourniquet? And you, they talk about like you know where to place the tourniquet above the uh, on the body, depending on where the wound is. And then he was like, "So what if uh, you have a bad wound on your head?" And they're still like, "Oh, you put a tourniquet on the neck." And he's like, ah, ha, 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 "Gotcha." Yeah, that's a a joke. It's like a dad joke, I guess. A weird, a bad dad joke. I mean, all dad jokes are bad, but uh, especially when it. Applies to life and limb. All right, here we go. Rats. What's next? There you go. Shh, bear. Fuck. I just knocked my shit out. All right. Uh, 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 there we go. We're so good. What do we got next? This is. Oh, there we go. Fucking glare. Sure save. So, what do we got? Let's see. Uh, what did I say? Trigger safe? Trigger safe. The trigger safe was designed to fix a weapon problem that officers and citizens knew occurred, but no one wanted to discuss. Negligent discharges. When a person with a rifle or shotgun does not have a positive control of the weapon, the chances of negligent, negligent discharge increase. Positive control is when we have our hands on the weapon and control the safety and trigger. The chance that a piece of gear or other object can push the trigger is greatly reduced with the trigger safe TM in place. Trigger safe TM was intended for environments and times when we don't have full control of the weapon. Plus, it's a much simpler. It's much simpler. Sorry, uh, I was checking my levels uh, and I lost my spot. Oh, here we go. Plus, it's much simpler and compact safety device than a safe slash compartment made proudly in the USA. Eh, eh, ooh, ooh. Um, negligent discharge. So, <laughs> one time I uh, was in the field. I can't remember what specifically it was for. Actually, now all the which one, which which one it was for. It's blurring together and it's only important because i'm trying to remember because I, I i think the reason that things got so stupid was uh, it was because the battalion commander was there or something but it, either way so anyways we're in, the, we're in the field and this dude um 
I think it was a Motor T guy. He's a super. He's a motivator too. Like super. He. I think he won like. Like the battalion did some kind of like fucking gung ho award. You know what I mean? Like something like that. And this kid won it. I'm pretty sure he was, he was from Motor T. Uh, and so, as long story short, he b- makes a um, MRE bomb. If you're not familiar with that, so it's based in the MRE. I don't have any right here. Um, it, it, so in the MRE. Fuck. Anyways, so, so MREs are uh, meals ready to eat. It's just it's they're these like brown. They look like fucking just bags or uh, packages that you take to the field, and you know it has like a all kinds of different cuisine. I, th- I think <laughs> cuisine <laughs> has all kinds of different meals. Maybe it's cuisine now. They're maybe they're better now, and uh, so you can basically a lot of it is like dehydrated or you know it's supposed to last over a long time. It's like food storage and you can eat it makes it easy to you can fucking ship it and carry it around f- fucking put it in your pack or open it and take parts out and, and keep it but anyway so there's a part it's the uh meal heating part so it's like this plastic bag that or a plastic pouch that you can um it's big enough you can fit your food packets in it because it comes in there's like the 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 it's like whatever um packaging that pr- to preserve the food is that it comes in fuck i'm having trouble talking today uh but anyway so yeah those packages you can put that food packet into your heating pouch and it has this little thing in there um that has a chemical reaction with water so you basically you, you take the pouch you slide that thing in there you pour water in there and then the reaction it like has a chemical reaction and it heats up and uh you know produces gas and the water boils so the reaction the heat it it creates yeah these these uh gases so if you like cinch it shut or you get like a water bottle and you put the heating packet inside of the bottle and fill that up and shut it um that's how you make the bomb because then you know it fills up with gas and then the pressure and it blows up <clears throat> so this kid he did that in the field and I remember our, f- our, our, so he was at, in Motor T, so he, oh, because it was our company for a sergeant that grabbed him. But anyways, those details aren't important. Anyway, so it's, they grabbed this kid and they did like a NJP in the field, a field NJP of this kid, which is basically means for people that aren't familiar with the military, it's a, uh, NJP is like it, it's non non-judif- non judicial punishment. And it's basically it's just uh the stuff that in the military this the things that they're allowed to do to you that aren't they're not tech they're not legal um proceedings or legal pro- yeah, legal proceedings or legal repercussions, but you still fucking you still get in trouble. It's just like the military's system of punishment, like the in house system of punishment. Uh, cause you can, you can get put on restriction where you have to stay in the barracks and, or you, you're restrict, you're, you're uh, required to stay in one certain place or room or whatever. And you have to check in with the duty and they have to fucking follow you. There's all this shit. It's like being grounded, basically being a grounded adult. Uh, they can take your money. They can take rank, um, you know, make you unpromotable, like all, all, all kinds of, they, they can do all kinds of shit. And it's just, you know, it's commander's discretion. It's basically, it's just the, yeah, it's a, it's an in-house, um, fuck, what is that word? In-house. I don't know, punishments. We'll just say that. It's illicit in, in-house punishments. So anyway, so this kid, they, they bring him in, they like set up chairs or something and they have them report in and then they charge him with negligent negligent discharge i don't know specifically which article that is but anyway so this kid made a fucking mre bomb it blew up they heard it didn't hurt anyone they just heard it it was just loud as fuck and they were like oh what the fuck was that and then of course first aren't heard it so then and i'm pretty sure the battalion commander was around so of course first aren't has to show out and be like hey i got this shit under control sir i'm about to fucking murder this kid 
Uh, so, anyways, long story short, negligent negligent discharge. I think that ended it ended ended up getting when we came back from the field, it got thrown out because his, cause like I said, he was in Motor T. He was in a different whole different company. Um, so his first song was like, well, "Fuck this shit." Uh, but anyways, negligent negligent discharge. That's what made or that made me think of that. So, anyways, here we go. That's what this is for. So no, because I won't protect against <laughs> MRE bombs in the field, but it says uh. It helps protect against negligent discharge. So it looks it's just like a thing that fits over the uh, the uh, trigger housing group. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what's next? What do, what should we got? What should we got? OSP operator survival. <coughs> Tool. Scrape all two two three five five six three hundred block. Oh, that's cool. Here's on the what it looks like on the the back of the package. Here's the front of the package. And uh, what do we got? <sighs> OST mini wrench. The OST carbon scraper is a compact carbon scraping cleaning tool. It works on pistols and rifles in many modern calibers. It scrapes carbon buildup from the back of the bolt inside a bolt carrier between locking lugs and around a firing pin. It has a pick to aid in disassembly and for cleaning under an extractor. One of the most unique attributes of the scraper is that it was designed to be secured to a single loop of molly webbing. With a supplied loop of shock cord, the OST carbon scraper is made of precision ground stainless steel laser cut and nitride treated black with its compact size and weighing 0 0.70 or 0 0.7 ounces it's a great standalone cleaning piece or a great addition to your cleaning kit so there you go there's that that's that bow 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 uh what's that next Oh, this is a, uh, oh, so, and then sometimes you get, um, uh, what do you call it, like little coupons or promo codes or deals for the, for the companies or the specific gear, uh, so like this one right here, it's 15% off, trigger safe, so that was, that one goes with this one, so then, they, so they included a little coupon promo code thing. Oh, nice. All right, cool. So let's see. There we go. What you got here? Apps Inc. AR-15 selector. So what did I say? Uh, Apps Inc. Apps. Oh, here we go. Apps ambidextrous selector. The aggressive texturing and tactile. Detents make your uh, AR-15 safer, even your AR-15 safety even easier. Makes your AR-15 safety. Oh, the safety on. <laughs> uh, makes your AR-15 safety even easier to use. The shortened weak side lever prevents it from hitting your trigger finger during operation. The central drum is 4140 steel with aluminum levers. Levers, 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 levers. Comes with a hex wrench to install. Does it? Oh yeah, it does. It's got a little one in there. Cool. That's a cool. Oh, that's cool. All right. Oh, there we go. Hand cleaner. Eagle grit. Eagle grit. And cleaner. Eagle grit. Here we go. You guys are always telling us how much you love this stuff. So here's some more for your filthy range hands. Eagle grit is a water activated hand degreaser soap. Okay. 
This one wasn't my fault. This is a typo. <laughs> Eagle Grit is a water-activated hand degreaser soap and is a quick and efficient way to remove grease, grime, oil, diesel, paint, ink, resins, glue, rubber cement, stains, epoxy, and more. Perfect for mechanic mechanics, painters. Perfect for mechanics, painters, welders, technicians, construction workers, farmers, etc. USA made. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And oh cool. Uh, I think you can see it. All right, so what do we got? We got Glow Shot Target. Glow Shot Target Pack. The bet, oh uh, no. Glow Shot 8 inch multicolor reactive targets. You will see your hits instantly. These targets use Glow Shot technology to produce a colored ring around your hits. No more walking down range or picking a spotting scope to see your hits. Each colored ring represents one inch from the center. These targets are made of an adhesive backed plastic coated paper able to withstand dozens of shots attach the target to any surface usa made so that yep 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 there's the hot um so that's everything so yeah it's got the apps ambidextrous selector hex mag air 15 magazine trigger safe ost mini wrench eagle grit uh that hand stuff uh, rats tourniquet, glow shot target pack, and then, so then, uh, in each box they give you a hint for the next month. Uh, oh fuck. Uh, so for June it says, "Do you hear what I hear? This active item that we designed in house will make you the envy of the range." Plus, rip. Tilia, Hogue, Uncommon Valor, and more. Lots of gear for your outdoor training this summer. Glock Box 3.0, shipping mid-June. Have you ordered yours yet? $270 worth of Glock parts and accessories. Get yours today before they sell out, like they have the past two years. Interesting. Oh, yeah, so then I get, I, they also have, you can go on the website. You can, when they have leftover boxes, you can um you can buy past boxes and then they also do like at Christmas, they do like a, like a specific Christmas holiday one. And then that you can like gift to people, I think. And then uh, in, in general, you can also just go on there. You don't have to um, subscribe every month. You can also just buy one as a gift or they have a lot of different options. And then also this one sounds like there's, you can go on there and there's a, um, a Glock specific uh, tag pack box. So that's cool. There's all kinds of cool stuff on there. If you like <sighs> weapons, uh, I guess specifically AR-15 stuff is what they send out parts. Um, but then there's also other other things as well. As you can see so there. Boom, boom, boom. So that is the May Tack Pack box. And... Uh, the website on here or I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's tackpack.com but uh fuck it. yeah yeah uh, i'll check i'll check i'll look uh let's see i go i go and if it isn't you can just google it right oh look at that Oh fuck! All right, so it's n oh I spelled tack wrong. <laughs> what a dum dum. There we go. Yep, tack t a c p a c k dot com tackpack dot com. Get the fuck out of here. Um, let's see. While while I'm on here, I might as well look and see if they have. Um, what you call? What you call? What you call? If it says something about their Glock box, but yeah. Oh, well, let me read this. So, <clears throat> inside Tack Pack, Tack Pack contains ninety to one hundred and twenty dollar plus worth of gear each month for a cost of just forty nine ninety five. There it is. See, so, yeah, I told you it was within ten dollars of fifty dollars in either direction. There you go. So forty nine ninety five. 
Thanks to our enormous volume of subscribers, we are able to get insane volume discounts on tactical products and pack your box with huge value. This way, we bring the best possible deal to the to our loyal communi community. Our average box is box is at least a hundred dollars in value. So there you go. Um, top brands like Gerber, Kershaw, uh, Cricket, or K C R K T, uh, Black Rifle Comp or uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company, Five Eleven Tactical, Magpul, Breakthrough, X Tech, and many more. Yeah. Oh, I guess they have a monthly. So if you sign up for their newsletter, letter, they also have um, a monthly giveaway. And oh, yeah, that's it. Like, yeah, Tech Pack isn't giving me anything for this. I'm just a customer that likes their product. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, because my buddy was making fun of me. Uh, about monthly subscription boxes. I don't know why he, he thought of, there's something weird about about it, but this is all shit that he would like. <laughs> and I actually ended up, I did um, get him a box. So I'm like, hey, look, you will like it. And also, anyways, uh, <laughs> you know how you are. Uh, but anyways, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're not giving me anything, but I just thought it's cool. And it's definitely something I would have been getting sooner had I heard about it. So, Take that as you will. Fuck. 37 minutes? Really? Jeez. Fuck, I ramble. All right. Uh, that's it. Fuck you. Later.